Hi, Jeff here with Corsair, and this is our Hydro Series H100i GTX liquid CPU cooler. It continues the evolution of our popular 240 millimeter CPU coolers in both performance and design. We've updated the look of the pump, radiator, and the hoses, which are now sleeved. But the major improvements are on the inside. Each component, including the cold plate, the pump, the hoses, and the radiator, have been meticulously improved to make this the best performing 240 millimeter CPU cooler in our lineup. The mounting hardware has also been improved, so let me show you guys just how easy it is to add liquid CPU cooling to your system. First, I'll install the backplate. The backplate works for a variety of Intel sockets, so you may need to slide the mounting holes in and out to get a perfect fit. Tighten the backplate down using the included standoffs. AMD hardware is also included. The next step is to mount the fans on the underside of the radiator. The fans have arrows embossed into their side to show the direction of the airflow. I'm setting these fans up as an exhaust. Now we'll mount the radiator in the case. For this, we'll use the short screws and the washers that are included in the mounting kit. Now we're ready to install the cooling block. The unit has thermal paste pre-applied, so just remove the plastic cover and then align the cooling block over the standoffs and tighten it down with the included thumb screws. Next, we'll plug in the fans to the fan power leads on the cooling block. Then, we'll plug in the four pin power cable to the CPU fan header on the motherboard. Lastly, we'll plug in the Corsair Link data cable. The Corsair Link cable allows the cooler to talk to the Corsair Link software and lets you change fan profiles, LED colors, and monitor your system performance. And that's it. The cooler is fully installed, and we now have a nice, quiet, liquid cooled gaming system that's ready to go. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, here's how to reach us.